اچھا جی ہیونگ آلریڈی لرنڈ کے ہاؤ وی پریپیئر دا ٹرائل بیلنس اگین اگر میں بالکل وہ اسٹارٹ سے بات کروں انیشیلی وی لرن ہاؤ ٹو پوسٹ ڈبل اینٹریز ان دا ٹی اکاؤنٹس آفٹر لرننگ ہاؤ ٹو پوسٹ اینٹریز ان دا ٹی اکاؤنٹس دین وی لرن ہاؤ ٹو کلوز اے پرٹیکولر ٹی اکاؤنٹ ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ دا کلوزنگ بیلنس ونس وی لرن ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ دا کلوزنگ بیلنس دین وی لرن ہاؤ ٹو ٹرانسفر دیٹ ٹو ٹرائل بیلنس اینڈ وی ہیو ڈن پریکٹس فار دوز کوشچنس ناؤ دا نیکسٹ اسٹیج دیٹ وی دا نیکسٹ اسٹیپ اینڈ دا نیکسٹ تھنگ دیٹ وی ہیو ٹو لرن اینڈ پریکٹس از ونس وی ہیو گاٹ دا فگرس ان دا ٹرائل بیلنس ہاؤ ڈو وی پریپیئر فائنینشیل اسٹیٹمنٹس اے سمپل سیٹ آف فائنینشیل اسٹیٹمنٹس اینڈ ول بگن ود انکم اسٹیٹمنٹ دا اسٹیٹمنٹ آف پروفٹ اور لاس ہاؤ وی پریپیئر دیٹ فرام دا ٹرائل بیلنس ٹھیک ہے اچھا جی دا ٹو بیسک فائنینشیل اسٹیٹمنٹس دیٹ وی پریپیئر فرام دا فرام دا ٹرائل بیلنس دے آر دا انکم اسٹیٹمنٹ اینڈ اسٹیٹمنٹ آف فائنینشیل پوزیشن سو ویل بی یوزنگ دا سیم ٹرائل بیلنس فار بوتھ آف دیم بٹ فار ناؤ فار ٹو ڈیز کلاس ویل بی لرننگ جسٹ ہاؤ ٹو پریپیئر دا انکم اسٹیٹمنٹس اینڈ ان دا لیٹر کلاس پر ہیپس وی ڈ لرن ہاؤ ٹو پریپیئر دا اسٹیٹمنٹ آف فائنینشیل پوزیشن لیٹ می گیو یو اے براڈ آئیڈیا آف وٹ دی انکم اسٹیٹمنٹ کنسٹس آف اینڈ لکس لائک پورا اس کا اسکیلیٹن کس طرح کا ہوتا ہے اینڈ دین وی وڈ گو ان ڈیٹیل اینڈ پریپیئر ون سب سے پہلے ہم کیا کریں گے ویل رائٹ نیم آف دا بزنس وچ ان دس کیس از بی مورس بی مورس ٹھیک ہے جی دین وی پریپیئرنگ انکم اسٹیٹمنٹ اور اسٹیٹمنٹ آف پروفٹ اور لاس وش ایور نیم یو وانٹ ٹو یوز ایز پر دا کوشچن کوشچن میں جو بھی اس کا بٹم یوز ہوئی ہوئی ہوگی اسٹیٹمنٹ کے لیے ول بی یوزنگ دا سیم ون سو لیٹ سے اسٹیٹمنٹ آف پروفٹ اور لاس پروفٹ اور لاس اچھا اینڈ دین اٹ ول بی فار دی پیریڈ اینڈیڈ فار دی پیریڈ اینڈیڈ اسٹیٹمنٹ آف پروفٹ اور لاس اٹ کین ناٹ بی ایٹ اے پرٹیکولر پوائنٹ آف ٹائم لائک دا اسٹیٹمنٹ آف فائنینشیل پوزیشن وچ وی لرن ارلیئر آن ان دا فرسٹ چیپٹر اینڈ دا سیکنڈ چیپٹر وی ڈڈ ڈرا ایف یو اسٹیٹمنٹس آف فائنینشیل پوزیشن رائٹ ٹھیک ہے تو دوز ور ایٹ اے پرٹیکولر پوائنٹ آف ٹائم سو آئی سے آن دس پرٹیکولر ڈیٹ وٹ آر یور ایسٹس لائبلٹیز اینڈ کیپیٹل ایز فار دا اسٹیٹمنٹ آف پروفٹ اور لاس اٹ ہیز ٹو بی فار اے پرٹیکولر پیریڈ ناٹ اے پوائنٹ آف ٹائم so the period for this for which this particular statement is for the year ended so instead of period i'll write for the year ended when does this year end uh, 31 december 2018 as in special circumstances uh, the fan the usually the income statement is for one year but in special circumstances it could be for less than one year as well so for example if a business has started its operations in october and this year and they have chosen it to be uh, december 31st december for the first year they'll prepare income statement for just three months because since their initiation it has been just three months period for which they are drawing for which they have carried out the operations similarly if a business it changes its accounting period or some for some other purpose for example for internal use or uh, let's say um, some regulatory body they ask for financial information of a particular period in those circumstances the income statement it can be drawn for less than a year as well but usually it's for one year acha then the first item that we have is sales uh, we have already learned about sales return as well theek hai to hum dono likhenge we will write um, sales less sales return ٹھیک ہے جی تو اوور ہیئر ویل بی نوٹنگ ڈاؤن دا فگرس اینڈ دس وڈ گیو اس نیٹ سیلس سیلس لیس سیلس ریٹرن دس گیوز اس نیٹ سیلس ٹھیک ہے فرام دا نیٹ سیلس آئی ڈیڈکٹ لیس کاسٹ آف گڈ سولڈ کاسٹ آف گڈس سولڈ اچھا جی وٹس انکلوڈیڈ ان کاسٹ آف گڈ سولڈ فرسٹ آف آل آئی بگن ود اوپننگ انوینٹری so i say i had this inventory at start of the period opening inventory in that opening inventory i add purchases made during this year and i deduct less purchase return
So obviously the purchases which were returned, they cannot be added to my cost of goods sold. So I had this opening inventory, then I had this purchases, then I incurred some cost in bringing these goods to my facility. So carriage inwards, it would be added. Um, and then from all this, so this was all the cost of the inventory that I incurred during the period of inventory I, I had at hand. If I deduct from it the inventory that I still have at the end of the period, it would mean that the remaining was consumed. So let's closing inventory. The sum of this, it would give me cost of goods sold, right? And this cost of goods sold, I would deduct from net sales and that would give me the value of gross profit. I said, once I've got the gross profit, then uh, the next thing, the next thing, gross profit, I'll deduct from it operating expenses. I said this is a simple basic version later on there might be some additions to this pattern for example there might be more items that we are adding to cost of goods sold and similarly I am giving you just a few common items that we'll have for operating expenses later on we'll learn that there are more as well but this is the broad pattern that I get net sales from net sales I deduct cost of goods sold I get gross profit and once I get the gross profit I said before deducting operating expenses I can add other income to it just a second um add other income so what's the difference between other income and revenue uh, revenue is uh, sale of items or income earned from the main operations of the business so let's say uh, you in the first class mentioned uh, an example of a boutique business that you buy ready-made clothes from someone and you sell them to uh, sell them in retail Achha. during carrying out your operations initially you bought some furniture but a year later you thought that this furniture perhaps this this is old-fashioned or perhaps you want to change it so you sell that furniture in selling that furniture you make a gain it's quite possible that you bought something for a lesser price and now there is inflation so you sell the same thing at a higher price so you made a profit but was this furniture bought for the purpose of earning profit or was selling of this furniture your main business? No, it's just some side activity which happened to create profit for you. So such incomes, they are, in, they are included in other incomes, other income. Okay. Ashaji, from other income, I'll deduct operating expenses. The first item that I'll note over here is salaries and wages. Salaries and wages Achha ji. Uh, other than that i could have um let's say utility expenses the heating lighting electricity utility expenses or simply utility or you other item that you can have is perhaps printing and stationery printing and stationery Achha ji. other than that you can have for example for example rent you could have for example insurance okay ji. and there could be other for example marketing expense advertising expense they can all be included over here Achha. once i have got the sum of operating expenses and I deduct the sum, uh, I add other income to gross profit and I deduct the other, uh, the operating expenses from that sum, I will get operating profit. Achha, this operating profit is sometimes also referred to as, uh, especially when we'll study the portion of ratio analysis, we'll be referring to this same op operating profit sometimes at Profit before interest and tax. Profit before interest and tax. Okay, so sometimes uh, we also call it PBIT or EBIT, earnings before interest and tax. Okay, 
they are all different names for the same operating profit okay so from this operating profit if i deduct finance cost what is finance cost interest expense so if i deduct the finance cost from this operating profit that will give me uh, profit before tax and from this profit before tax if i deduct the taxation expense i will have net profit or profit after tax this is the full fledged format but as of now we'd be at operating expenses may i missed a major one on this i mean a common expense in operating expenses it's also the de depreciation we'll have a separate chapter on where we'll learn what's depreciation what are the different ways to calculate depreciation um, what are the different ways to calculate the disposal of assets and so on so depreciation expense is also sometimes not sometimes depreciation expense is also included in the operating expenses of the business from the information that's given above in this question they expect us to calculate just till operating profit over here okay acha there is a term used net profit net profit is something net of okay if you do not have finance cost and taxation then operating profit will be your net profit if you have finance cost but no taxation expense then profit before tax this will be a net profit if you have all these finance cost and taxation then profit after tax will be your net profit net profit simply means profit net of all the expenses okay acha uh, let's get to this question i'm removing these crosses from here and i'll fill in the uh actual expenses which are given in this particular question so this finance hopefully you have noted down the full uh, format of this thing income statement take it i'll for this question i'll also remove this on the next page for uh, your practice i mean for the solution of this question you can redraw this thing and not redraw all of it just as we fill in figures only those particular balances you can note so over here for example in this question Uh, let's just read it says general expenses business rates motor expenses salaries insurance purchases there is sales uh creditors debtors premises theek hai there isn't a lot in this question theek hai stock acha one thing also to remember if there is any inventory given in the question in this trial balance and it just says inventory it would be opening inventory the closing inventory would in 99% of the cases be given outside the trial balance okay because if you mention the inventory within the trial balance it will also show the profit then anyhow this is something that would perhaps understand later but for now what we have to remember is that inventory mentioned in the trial balance is opening inventory and the closing inventory is the one that's mentioned outside the trial balance acha let's start solving this one so the first figure i'll put over here is sales sales theek hai ji what's the amount for sales over here uh, 235812 hmm 235812 there is no sales return so this would be the amount of net sales as well um 235812 acha ji coming down to coming down to Uh, cost of goods sold theek hai this is the full pattern out of all these opening inventory is not mentioned because this is the first year of the business yes obviously when the business is starting mostly they wouldn't have an inventory that they'd be starting business with so first year of the business there is no opening inventory i put just a dash next to it acha these calculations i'll be doing the in, in the inner column the cost of goods sold and once i've got all the numbers over here i'll show the sum in the outer column okay theek hai ji uh, no opening inventory then i've got the next figure for purchases 
परचेजेस परचेजेस कहाँ गया जी ये रहा परचेजेस वन टू वन जीरो फोर जीरो सो आई राइट परचेजेस ओवर हेयर वन टू वन जीरो फोर जीरो आफ्टर परचेजेस इज देर एनी परचेज रिटर्न नो नन इज देर एनी कैरेज इन वर्ड्स ओवर हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन नो इज देर अ क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री येस हाउ मच फोर्टीन फोर एट सिक्स फोर्टीन फोर एट सिक्स सो दे हैड नो ओपनिंग इन्वेंट्री दे बॉट थिंग्स वर्थ वन ट्वेंटी वन जीरो फोर जीरो एंड आउट ऑफ दोज वन ट्वेंटी वन जीरो फोर जीरो दे हैव स्टिल गॉट फोर्टीन फोर एट सिक्स वर्थ स्टफ लेफ्ट सो इट मीन्स द रिमेनिंग दे मस्ट हैव सोल्ड सो वट्स द डिफरेंस ऑफ द टू अमाउंट्स वन टू वन जीरो फोर जीरो माइनस फोर्टीन फोर एट सिक्स वी डोंट राइट माइनस ओवे है वील यूज ब्रैकेट्स टू शो दैट वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग समथिंग फोर्टीन फोर एट सिक्स अच्छा जी सब्ट्रैक्टिंग द टू अमाउंट्स वट डू वी गेट जी मैडम विल डू द कैलकुलेशन ऑन द कैलकुलेटर वन टू वन जीरो फोर जीरो माइनस फोर्टीन फोर एट सिक्स ऑल राइट and then i can calculate the gross profit from 235812 which is net sales 235812 minus 106554 yes madam the gross profit is one two nine two five eight acha ji is there an other income no i'll just put a dash next to it operating expenses for operating expenses do they mention salaries yes the first amount we'll write is salaries 39560 so salaries how much uh, 39560 acha ji after salaries we'll write them down in the sequence in which they're given so first of all general expenses general expenses are how much general expenses are 305 then after general expenses i have business rates business rates what's the amount for business rates 2400 acha ji then motor expenses how much are motor expenses motor expenses are um 910 as such then i've got insurance how much is insurance 1240 1240 uh any other expense in the trial wellness insurance then purchases already noted sales car is an asset creditors debtors premises that's all so what we'll do now is we'll calculate the sum of all these expenses that we noted over here okay ji uh, 39560 plus 305 plus 2400 plus 910 plus 1240 ji what do we get Forty-four thousand four hundred fifteen. We'll write it in brackets because this is the expense that we have to deduct. Acha, we had gross profit one two nine two five eight, and from that gross profit, I'll deduct this expense one two nine two five eight minus forty-four four one five. So that tells me my operating profit or net profit in this case is eighty-four eight four three. ठीक है जी अच्छा विल कीप दिस क्वेश्चन ओवर हेयर एंड लेटर ऑन इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास पर हैप्स विल आल्सो प्रिपेयर द स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ फाइनेंशियल पोजीशन बट फॉर टुडे लेट्स जस्ट प्रैक्टिस द इनकम स्टेटमेंट्स अच्छा जी हैविंग डन 7.3 ए हाउ अबाउट वी आल्सो प्रैक्टिस 7.4 ए राइट नाउ एंड द 
सेवन पॉइंट वन टू एंड फाइव यू कैन प्रैक्टिस दो इज होमवर्क ओके आई प्रिपेयर एन इनकम स्टेटमेंट एंड आई एक्सपेक्ट यू टू प्रिपेयर वन ऑन योर ओन साइड बाय साइड एंड देन विल मैच अवर आंसर्स अच्छा जी सेवन पॉइंट फोर ए विच पॉइंट डू डू अर्ली सेवन पॉइंट थ्री ए सेवन पॉइंट फोर ए ना अच्छा अगेन वील बिगेन विद राइट इन द नेम ऑफ द बिजनेस फर्स्ट वॉट द नेम ऑफ द बिजनेस जी ग्रहम ठीक है जी जी ग्रहम एंड वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर trading profit and loss account it's a one thing it mentions over here trading profit and loss account this section of the income statement or profit and loss account where we calculate gross profit this section is called trading section trading section and this section down below this is called profit or loss section profit slash loss section okay uh, i mean you don't have to specifically highlight it this way in your answers but just to let you know in case you come across these terms this section is called trading section and this is called profit or loss section acha ji now statement for profit or loss अच्छा जी दिस बिगिन्स विद सेल्स हाउ मच इज सेल्स थ्री एटी टू फोर टू जीरो थ्री एटी टू फोर टू जीरो देर इज नो सेल्स रिटर्न आई जस्ट यूज दिस एज इट इज एंड देन आई हैव लेस cost of goods sold and cost of goods sold the first item would be opening inventory there is none then i'll add purchases to it how much are purchases 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 245950 Two forty-five nine five zero. I say, let's once read this equipment rental insurance, lighting, heating, motor, salaries, sales, purchases, sundry expenses, lorry, creditors. Okay, then less purchase return. There is none. um carriage inwards there is none less closing stock how much is closing stock 29304 given below the trial balance 29304 ठीक है जी टू फोर्टी फाइव नाइन फाइव जीरो टू फोर्टी फाइव नाइन फाइव जीरो माइनस ट्वेंटी नाइन थ्री जीरो फोर 
This gives me cost of goods sold two one six six four six. Take it and if I deduct from sales three eighty two four two zero minus answer the gross profit is one sixty five seven seven four this would be the gross profit then I add other income which there is none in this case and then I less operating expenses actually operating expenses the first one I'll write is salaries and wages 48580 so salaries and wages 48580 then I'll write all else equipment rental equipment rental is 940 there is insurance how much one eight zero four then there is lighting and heating lighting and heating is one nine nine zero and after that there are motor expenses motor expenses how much two three five zero okay salaries and wages noted purchases noted there are sundry expenses sundry expenses are how much 624 Achha. and then after sundry expenses there is lorry and then creditors let us fixtures take it that's it so let's sum all the operating expenses now 48 5 8, 0 plus 940 plus 104 yes madam question um preferably continuous so in between over preferably continuous yes so i'll show you an actual format which would perhaps uh help i showed you the an actual format of the financial statements in the first class right for the national refinery financial statements so yes they're continuous we usually do as a as a as a as at this stage we usually uh, since we are practicing we don't really know which which figures might pop up so yes we can leave a, a line or two in between but over the uh, period of time we should develop the practice that we do it without leaving lines in between so i suggest some 1990 plus 2350 plus 624 so let's check once again 48580 um 940 1804 um 1990 and 624 yes 56 and if i deduct that from 165774 165774 minus answer I get 109486 so this would be our net profit or operating 
net profit